about the money. Amen. It's not about the money. Amen, preacher. You know, sure, sure we need money. We, the church needs money. We, we, you know, we can't, we can't get the cheers. We can't get the things. We can't have a place to worship. We can't, you know, pay for the community. We can't get the song books. You know, we can't put the program for teaching place and all, all these things cost money. So the church needs money to function to do God's will. Amen. 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 And I, I don't want to leave like the preacher needs to live too. You know, you know, I don't have to be at the White House, but I ain't got to be in the flop house either. Amen. Amen. You know, yeah, so you know. And so, so the church does need it, but that's not the main thing. Amen. Because I, I do this for nothing. Amen. I love God. I love what he has done for me. Amen. But our most important function is to invite people to Christ. You know, it says, hey, let him that hears. See, but if we're not telling anybody, they can't Preach hear. Up. Let him that hears, even the new converts. Ought to be involved in that. Amen. Amen. You know, tell me what you know. You ain't got to know all that I know, but you keep coming. You gonna know all I know, and so you gonna know more. I hope. Amen. But right out of the gate, you know one thing: what I must do to be saved. Amen. You know that. You know we had a brother named Brother Green. Amen. Brother Green would go out weekly. Whatever he learned about, we say that we that we put that down. Amen, preacher. Whatever he learned in the Bible study, that really, that's, really, that's what he's talking about all week. Um, you know, and if he asked you something he didn't know, he'd tell you. You don't know, but he knows somebody that's huh? <laughs> You know, it, it, that, 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 that's, that's the kind of humility we need to have. Yes. Now, the, the, the third thing is that the point that I want to make is mankind's greatest blessing. And you go back to the scripture, and it, it, that's the part that says, and let him that a thirst come. Uh -oh. Let him that a thirst come. And the question you have to ask, how thirsty is the world? <laughs> how thirsty the world is, the world is for God. Even though they may not know that's what they want. They're thirsty for it. You know, I was thirsty for it. I was looking for God in all the wrong places. Amen. But I wanted God. I was looking for him in all the wrong places. You know? See, and that's what most of the world is doing. They're looking for God in all the wrong places. You know, the alcoholic looking down in the bottom of the truck. The drug addict looking, looking in that little sack. You know, that's blunt. Looking in there. You know, the prostitutes, the fornicators are looking through a few sacks. You know, they're, just, they're trying to find that thing that God made in us that only one thing too, and that's the Holy Spirit. And we should be there trying to put everything in it to set the right thing. Amen. What it was designed for. Amen. And that was for the Spirit of God. Amen. And that's for the Spirit of God. That's, it. that's why we keep on, had to keep going back. You know, you got to keep on going back going over and over again because it's, it's only temporary and it's not fixed. Amen. You know, this is the fix. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Then cast your burdens on Jesus. He said, You will burn the heavy lay on me. Yes, oh, you yes. know, you know, he said, Surrender your life to me. And I'll give you everything. Yes, he promised said that he will give us everything we need. Amen, somebody. Amen. You know, uh, you know, then how thirsty is the girl? You know the story about the woman at the well. Yes. She went there looking for regular water, but wound up getting living water. Amen. 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 She went looking for some kind of water, but she got a barrel of water. See, but that water that she was looking for only temporarily quenches your thirst. The, the, the living water was for Jesus. For keep you being thirsty the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. um, stay with that living war. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. Coming to the Lord quenches one's thirst. You know, the requirements for coming. One requirement. One must be thirsty. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah? One must be thirsty. You know, and this goes that any age may come, any race may come, any one may come, regardless of their past sin. Amen. See, you're not too bad for God to get you just really clean. You know, you ain't too bad for him to get you just really clean. You know, you're not too bad for, 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 for God to change you. You know, people see me today, they be like, you? <laughs> you? Yeah. And Jesus can change you too. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. You know, because I wasn't always like this. I used to laugh at people like this. Mm -hmm. Amen. I used to say, how they have fun like that?